Do you have any old frames laying around? Heck, they don't have to be old. They could just be something that you're not using anymore because I have a really cool idea for them. So I'm gonna take this little wood piece that I got. I think I got this at Walmart a while back and I'm gonna paint it white. Then I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on it because I got this little pack of, well, a little tablet, I guess, of little graphics. And this little bunny, I was just like, oh my gosh, totally reminded me of Easter. So put this on and then I put some, um, a coat of the Mod Podge over the top of it. So to prevent, pre I can't even talk today, <laughs> to prevent it from wrinkling, you know how sometimes that happens with paper and Mod Podge? We are going to use something so simple, that way we don't get any of those lines. It's parchment paper. So once I put that top layer of Mod Podge over, then I'm gonna let it dry for just a minute, not like all the way, but just a little bit. And I'm really gonna rub my hands over it just to make sure if there are any bubbles or any like creases or anything, we really, really work those out. And then once I feel like I've got it all the way I want it to, I just peel back that parchment paper and easy peasy. And now it just looks nice and crisp like it was on there. So we're gonna do a little distressing. And I know you're thinking with metallic paint, but it works so magically. So now that the Mod Podge is all dry, I'm just going to start brushing this on. I start at the edges and just kind of work my way in. And there is something about this metallic acrylic paint that gives the coolest, almost like a sheen, but it does a really great job with distressing also. So I'm gonna go all around my edges, right over the top of it. And then once that kind of is how I want it to be, it's kind of like grunging it up a little bit, making it look a little bit antique. Then we're gonna use some of the antiquing wax from Waverly and really go around that edge to give like the outer edge that really distressed look. So now you're probably thinking, well, this wood piece is not the size of the frame. And I know, I know it's okay. <laughs> because we're going to put this in the middle of the frame um, and then you'll have all that free space around uh, where the wall is and it will just frame it up really nicely. I also saw years ago in an antique store, they did small little shelves inside of old frames and then put little tchotchkes on it and it was so stinking cool. I loved, that has stuck in my mind ever since I've seen it. So once all that paint is dry, we're gonna put a little distressing spray. I thought a little copper, little, you know, smush smush here. <laughs> and I really try to not push all the way down on the spray bottle, cause I want kind of like, see how kind of get those big chunks on there. But look how cute this bunny rabbit is. Ugh, I love it, I love it. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.